right, what's going on, everybody? Gotta try to concentrate at the same time here. Uh, this is live. Well, not live, but currently am driving. Uh, what's up? Uh, what's what's up, YouTube? Or I just like saying what's going on, everybody. But um, one thing that I haven't done yet, I thought it might be kind of cool or whatever, is ever since I started working with Trey. Um, I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been about, uh, well, you all should know if you've been watching, whenever that video was. I think it's been four or five months I've been working. Um, started off working in the, the 16 foot uh, box trucks. Uh, I think I worked, I, I helped Trey for like two weeks. He showed me how to do it, I think, two or three weeks. And then uh, I think it was two weeks. And then I think I worked in the box truck for like two weeks by myself a week or two weeks by myself and uh and that's when i went to that race and wrecked and hurt myself and then i was off for freaking i think two or three weeks from that so um but when i came back the, the you know the day i got hurt or whatever not not the day i got hurt the day i went down in the house was the night we were working on, or was the day we were working on this truck. So, um, when I was off, when I was off hurt, I took this truck and got it uh, DOT inspected. And, um, and then that Saturday, we uh, worked on this thing all day and then, you know, I got hurt. And then the truck sat for two or three weeks, however long I was off, and then came back and uh, I've been in this truck ever since, so like four months probably. I've put, I'll show you all the down there in a minute, or whatever the trip. I've put 6,200 miles on this thing. Put 6,200 miles on it, so. And uh, driving it a lot. Uh, does extremely well. Like literally, not on, I don't know what to knock on, but literally nothing has went wrong with this thing got like 180,000 miles on it now it's a 2006 um, you saw kind of what we did when we first got it we just uh, did maintenance on it and that's about it but the ABS lights on on it uh, it came that came on but other than that that's about it I guess there is something wrong with the ABS lights on it. but uh, we don't care about lights around here in this part of Kentucky but I thought it might be interesting to maybe try to do a day in the day in the life um, uh, doing this stuff so I, I actually never watched Trey, Trey's day in the life so uh, I actually don't know what, what, what and how he did his day or whatever but um, I'm going to try to do it this way and see what happens so it is 7.54 a.m. right now and it is Thursday the day you all are watching this video so probably going to go up late but um, uh I've started at all different kind of times over here. I've, I've left the house and we parked the trucks behind Trey's garage. If you all saw all on the video we were working on them, so it stays behind Trey's garage. So literally all I gotta do is walk out of the house and walk down the driveway. But I started a bunch of different times over here. I got over here at seven, I got over here at 7.30, I got over here at 7.45. And it seems like the best time to get here is right about eight o'clock to 8.15. So normally I leave the house about 7:45 and get over there about eight because there's um there's a bunch of dock doors to the station, but uh, this truck doesn't have airbags. It's got leaf springs, which makes it to where I don't have a CDL. I don't have to have a CDL to drive it, and it's I can't remember the GBR number. It's like 25,000 pounds. It's it's right under the limit, but this truck sits a little bit higher. So all the docks at the station they repaved the the ground over there. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this phone and not shake at the same time. And uh, which in turn, when they did that, they paved over top of the existing concrete. So now all the trucks that they ride can just adjust to the dock or whatever. But um, you know, this truck it sits high now. So there's only like three or four docks that like really work good for this truck to load stuff up in the morning. So um, so I, I got I to kind of wait in line to get those docks, but that's why I'm getting at is if it's getting there about 8, 8, 15 is about the right time for that because I've got there at 7, 30 and had to sit there until 8 o'clock. So, but, uh, but 
I didn't start filming at first, you know, got up, did the normal stuff. Amy and Trey uh, rotate on taking the kids to school each day, Lexi and Brantley. So, um, they're both freshmen this year, so Trey took them yesterday, and then Amy took them today. So, they leave the house at 725, and then Amy's normally back by about 740, 745 or whatever. But um, that's if she can sneak out without waking Lake up. Well, today the lake woke up, so they all left. And uh, I passed them on the road leaving um, in the truck. But that's about it. Got up and get up about uh, 7 o'clock. And I get over here. It's 7.56 right now. Get over to the station and uh, see what they got for the uh, for the day. And that's what you do. You go, go over there in the morning and they got um, your... Uh, your route and, and how many stops and pickups you got and all that stuff and I'll show you all that here in a minute but I'm actually getting ready to get off the exit right now so station's about 15 minutes away from my house I'll be back this is kind of what I'm talking about there's already a line to pull in here in the morning so uh, we're here though 6,000 ABS lights right there alright We'll get loaded up. I'll be back. All right, so it's very hit or miss over here, but there's literally um, 8, 9, 11, 12. I mean, there's, there's 15, 20 docks or something here, and um, they are all taken up right now, and it is uh, 8.02. So the, in, the morning, in the mornings, I can, I can park a little bit further down. This truck sits really high, but... It's got me sometimes before, but as long as the freight, it depends on the day if it's going to be real heavy or not heavy. But I can like ramp it up the ramp into the back of the truck um, and get it in there. But uh, if it's real heavy and I'm over down here at one of these docks at the end, then um, if you have a forklift, they can set it on the, the tail of the truck and then I can get in the truck and put it in, you know, organize it where it needs to go or whatever. But Another thing, you can't we can't uh, put forklifts on this truck. It's it's just a 26 foot box truck, so the floor is not really designed to hold a forklift. So um, that's why I want to say like they just put it on the tail with the forklift or whatever. They can just set it on the edge and scoot it in, and then I can move it around inside the truck with the pallet jack. So, but uh, so we do sit here and kind of wait for a door to open up, and then get a door you got to wear a vest inside the station while you're on the docks but i'll go in and um after i find the door go in and walk in the office and then they'll have a sheet printed out with all of my uh deliveries and all of those deliveries on the sheet um you load them into the truck in reverse if that makes sense you know what i mean so she she'll start like start my route with like the closer to the station and they get further and further and further and further away and then normally my furthest way out then she'll start giving me pickups you know on the way back in you know just how it makes sense to you know the the uh the best route for the for those deliveries and pickups for the day but i'll get that sheet and normally in the mornings it's somewhere between it's anywhere between believe it or not uh tuesday i think this week i started off with two so i loaded two in the truck but it's normally around five to eight five to eight deliveries so um and those five to eight deliveries you know some of those stops can have like two skids or three skids so this truck can hold 12 skids um 48 by 40 regular skids it can hold 12 in the back of it uh the 16 foot box trucks the three that trey drives through the week they can hold seven so um so normally I'll leave out of here m most of the time with an almost full truck. Uh, not always full, halfway full, but you know, sometimes I'll have seven or eight, nine, ten skids in the back of it when I'm leaving the station. And, um, but I'll show you all that here in a second. I'll, uh, um, get the, you know, the truck loaded up or whatever. And then, uh, normally I've, we've been averaging, this truck's been averaging, um, about 12 to, I mean, last week I hit uh, 22 stops, so so it's I, I, it's been pretty pretty busy. But um, anyways, we just sit and hang out, and then get the truck loaded up and take off. So time to 
answer some comments on YouTube. So I'll be back in a minute. Trey's waiting right here still. All right, just got loaded up. It is 9.02, so that's a, um, honestly, it's nice to have like two, like two things delivered, like two different stops by now, but I, uh, one of the pieces of freight was, I guess it had been sitting in the warehouse for a while and it was buried um, back behind like a thousand skids, so I had to um, have one of the forklift guys help me get that, get that out, and then, but anyways, got everything loaded. We got uh, six, delivery we're leaving with six deliveries and two pickups and we are leaving with where's that thing at I put it up here um, we're leaving with uh let's see here one, wait that's a pickup pickup uh, one three four five six seven eight nine nine skids so we're leaving with uh nine skids so not too bad um but normally that'll turn into, so we got eight stops, two pickups and six deliveries. So we'll see here by the end of the day what that turns into. My guess is, because I don't know yet, mm, I'm gonna say somewhere between 12 and 15, 12 and 15 for the day. But first, uh, first two deliveries are about, um, that, I don't know, about seven or eight minutes away from the station. And um, uh, how it works is there's an app you download on your phone. And, um, you know, they got their own app. And uh, and it'll have all of the deliveries and pickups in order on my phone. And I also have them on paper form right in front of me, too. So I got both ways. So um, I already know a, a few of these addresses already or where I'm going just because I've been doing this for, for I don't know, like pretty consecutively for like probably about a month, month and a half. And what I mean by that is uh, they've been keeping me in Kentucky and um, uh, and sending Trey up to uh, Ohio, the Sharonville area or Union Center Boulevard. And if you guys know around that, it's about 20 minutes north of Cincinnati, Ohio. So, um, and when, I, when we first got this straight truck, they started sending me up there and um, and this truck just is a lot more expensive to operate. You know, it's, you know, it costs like 100 and, 170, 180 dollars to fill this thing up. And it costs, uh, you know, like, I, I actually can't remember in the box trucks what it costs, but it, it's like 50 or 60 dollars less. Um, it's like right at like 100 bucks, I think, to fill those trucks up. But those trucks are just a little bit cheaper to operate. So if she keeps me in Kentucky, I can almost get a full tank of, of uh, fuel, a full tank of fuel in a, uh, um, in a week. So, so technically I can, you know, we can, um, come out better if we're using less fuel and I'm doing the same amount of stops when I'm in Kentucky. So it's less wear and tear on the truck and all that kind of stuff. But so anyways, I've been staying in Kentucky now for about, about a good two months, I would say. So most of these, not most of them, but I'd say probably 40% of them of the places, 40, 50%, I know where they're at. So um, these first two, well, the first, the second one, I know where it's at. The first one, I don't know where it's at, but it's got a pretty close address to the first one. So I think it's in the same place, but I've never been to the first place. But anyways, we are headed to the first stop now. Get back. First delivery is done. Uh, we are up here in the truck. Headed to the next one. Turns out I should have used my GPS because I've never been to that uh, first one, like I said, and I thought it was going to be in the same parking lot as this one, but it's not. So, but what I do is I put the completed paperwork in that little bin over there where I got me, and then at the end of the day, I move um, all that paperwork to the clipboard. I'll show you all in a little bit, but. I normally put that the paper up there is my next stop so I put that up there and then I keep all of my other stuff up here so when I get to the next stop I'll put a new piece of paper down there and that's the next stop after that but I gotta use the GPS but um, going to the next stop and see where we're at it is 924 all right second stop 
was technically the first stop, but my, um, so this should have been my first stop and that building right there should have been my second stop. But uh, one thing that is annoying about this stuff is when you come to these warehouses and there's like 10 different businesses in here and uh, none of them are labeled. Like all this stuff is labeled. You can see there's train. I actually used to go there when I did uh, commercial heating and air to get parts. But see like there's only a few of these places that are marked. So like look, none of that's marked. It's this fire riser room. It doesn't say what the business is. So you know the business entrance is around front but Obviously, I can't go around front because I'm too big. Like that one's marked, Sherwood, Sherwood, how do you say that, Sherwood Williams. But the place I was going to, I call him and he's like, yeah, it's dock four. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I said, well, I think it says, uh, I, I said, I, I think I'm in the right place because I think I've been here once before. And he goes, oh, okay. And uh, I said, I think I'm here. He's like, yeah, that's it. See if you see a dock number four above that dock. There is no number dock four on it. No name of a business, but that is kind of annoying about this stuff or whatever, but going to the uh, third stop, the third, oh yeah, I didn't tell you the whole, uh, the app on the phone. Well, I'll tell you in a minute when I get to the third stop, because the third stop has a guard shack, and I'll tell you about guard shacks, but we'll be there in a second. All right, I'm still on the way to the third stop, but I flipped this camera around so I can hold the phone a little bit easier. So, uh, man, sorry. <laughs> These allergies are messing with me or, or I'm sick or something. I don't know what's going on, but um, uh, the weather keeps changing. When it goes from cold, not cold, but when it goes from like 100 degrees to like a high of 70, it always gives me some kind of sore throat or a runny nose or something. You know, it always does that. So I think it's like a summer cold, but um so when you get to these stops you open the app up on your phone and it'll have the stop like i said you have the app it's the stops on your phone <coughs> man i'm sorry <coughs> the stop is on your phone and i have the paper um work version of it as well so you get to the stop and you got to click arrive and when you arrive it actually uses the gps in your phone and it, um, um, and it, 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 it's, it's kind of hard to, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but they can track, um, you know, the station, they can track what time we got there according to what time I checked in. And it tells me, it, it'll show them where I checked in at. So what that does, if you get to a place and there's like three or four trucks in front of you, you check in when you get there. And if you're there longer than 30 minutes, you get, you get what they call uh, detention time. So anything longer than 30 minutes, it's called uh, wait time. So if you're there 30 minutes, I think it's around 30 bucks. So you get, so you get, you get paid the, the wait time and you get paid uh, for the stop as well. And the stop pay changes every stop, depending on what zip code you're in and how much it weighs and this and that, it has all kinds of stuff or whatever. It's almost like YouTube. It's so complicated. It's like, it doesn't even, you just have to be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And you don't understand it anyways. It's how YouTube works. But, um, so then you click arrive and then you, um, it shows you to double check the freight, make sure you're delivering the right stuff or whatever. So you're like, okay, yeah, that's right. And then, um, you take a picture of the freight, uh, delivered, uh, in the app. And then, uh, so it doesn't save all the pictures on your phone. It just saves them on the app. And then you uh, get the customer to sign it, and then you hit uh, depart, and it uh, it sends a thing to the station showing, hey, there, he's done with this stop, he's on to the next one. So a lot of times at the station, the girls will know exactly how many skids I have on the truck, and just from tracking my phone throughout the day, it's like, okay, he's picked up, He's delivered six things and he's picked up four things. So he's got four skits on his truck. So he's got eight skit spots left, you know? So if a pickup comes in later in the day, they're like, oh, okay, Justin can go do it because he's got this many spots left on his truck. So, but that's how that works, the, the phone thing or whatever. And then, um, so we're going to a place now that has a guard shack. And when I first started, Trey said that uh, any place with a guard shack sucks. And it takes like twice as long. I wish I could show you all. A perfect stop is like two minutes. 
get there off the truck or put on the truck they're picking up and uh, get them to sign off to the next one. Well, this place, you gotta check in with the guard shack, give them your license. They gotta, I've already lost my license once doing this stuff because uh, a place kept it one time and then they said they didn't keep it, but they did keep it. But um, they take your license, write your license plate number, or they want your social security number, or they want you to get out of the truck and do a backflip and they can handshake them with your right hand. It's like, they got all, every business has their own rules and it's, it's just, it's pretty crazy, you know, when I go to a place and they'll have like a, like a 80 pound skid to give them like one skid and they're like, well, it's going to be about 35 minutes. And it's like, it'll literally take me two seconds to get this off the truck. But so that, that, that kind of stuff is aggravating, but, um, but, but we'll see this place up. I, I, when I came here before, I've been here for 45 minutes and I've also been here for like eight minutes. So hopefully today's a fast day, but we will see. So all of these stops are within like eight to 15 minutes of each other. So, and some of them are right across the street, like you just saw, but this one's about eight or nine minutes away down the road and just, uh, keep chugging along. I think, uh, this is a stop. And then every once in a while, if there's a pickup, if I've already delivered like three or four things, she'll throw a pickup in the middle of the deliveries. So then I'll go ahead and pick something up and I'll have to move it around in the truck as I'm still delivering until I get all the stuff that I left with this morning delivered. And then I can um, just, you know, I won't have to keep track of the pickups because you gotta keep, you know, it's like Tetris. You gotta keep moving stuff around in the back. So I'm getting pretty good at that game. But we're pulling on the street to the next one, be back. All right, this is what I'm talking about. See the guard shack up there? And we got two trucks in front of me. So it is 9.51. So I uh, checked in on my phone because I'm in line. Um, I arrived. And now we just sit and wait. So he'll let that dude through. And then he'll take this guy's license and write, I don't know, what color this guy's hair is and what color... It's just, it's very, uh, he trades very right on that. These guard, the, the places with guard shacks normally take a little, uh, while. So, um, we'll see how long this one takes, but this is, uh, three of eight so far. They haven't had, had anything else, anything else yet, but, um, it's, uh, it could be going a little bit smoother, but not going too bad. I don't think. Uh, we also do residential deliveries like I delivered a uh, I delivered a few like motorcycles dirt bikes um, uh, one of those plunge uh, one of those things ice bath things polar plunge deal or whatever it's called delivered one of those to a guy's house uh, so we do do those and those pay more too a residential delivery and that's a lift you know most of the time you got to use your lift gate on the back of the truck to get it off so those pay more too as well, but uh, I don't know if I have any of those. I don't know if any of this stuff is residential. I don't think it. Uh, doc, 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 doc. No residentials yet, so that means I can only get pickups if they're residentials. But I'll see how long this takes, and I'll let y'all know. All right, I didn't finish filming there. Got the third one off, but uh, we had a. Uh, um, the app glitched on my phone, so I had to delete the app and re-download it, and then, um, and then it still wasn't working, and then I, uh, uh, reset my phone, and then finally it's working, so it wasn't communicating back to the, uh, station with when I was done with a stop, or if I was headed to the next one, it wasn't communicating or whatever, so, but now it is. And I got to uh, that last place at 9.51 and left at 10.55. So, um, so that's, I got wait time there. So that, that worked out and I'm headed to the next one now, which is a skid of, uh, freaking concrete pavers that weighs 900 pounds. And I just got in the back of the truck and this skid broke. So, uh, that's going to be fun to try to get off the truck. So that's where we're headed to next. And it is 10.29 right now. So, definitely not going uh, real fast today, that's for sure. Uh, trying to pick up the pace a little bit. That's the skid. Look at that mess. All nice and broken. 
If anybody's wondering right now, I'm using the, uh, the trucker's bathroom right here. You stand on the first step and uh, get you a pee cup, and you pee in the pee cup. Okay, wait a minute. One second. Wait one second. Yeah. Whoa. There's your pee cup. Mine's kind of. Mine's cumber we're on. I think that was three or four. But we are actually headed to a pickup next. So, delivered, uh, I think, three things. And uh, now we're going to get a pickup. And um, I don't know. Other than that. Oh, yeah, these, these Oakleys. I got these things like back in 2000. Gosh, 12. 2012. And uh, they've been in the house because I got this pair. They're the oil rigs. This pair and another pair that stays in my truck. The black, a black pair I got on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I just looked these pair up on eBay. I guess, I don't even know how old these. These things are like 12 or 13 years old. These things are selling for like $350 or $400 on eBay. So... Might have to sell these on eBay and get me a pair of, uh, cause the white ones are kind of, uh, 2010 ish. If that makes sense. But all right, let's go to this pickup. All right, backing up to this pickup. Uh, yeah, I've been here before. So this is one of the places, man, this is one of the places that you, uh, uh, don't go inside the warehouse. So basically you back up to the dock. They got a little window that you walk over to. You hand them the paperwork and uh they load the truck and um uh, put the stickers on the freight because uh, when you're picking something up like today i left with this pickup so that means it'll have the correct sticker on it when i get back to the station but if they send me a pickup while i'm out already we got to put these uh these things on they're called uh uh what are they called pros that's what they're called duh so they're called pro stickers, which means uh, basically um, I put a, one of those stickers on the paperwork. And then when I turn the paperwork in at the end of the day, the girls print out um, those stickers. And then before I leave the warehouse, I go back out because I pulled all the freight that I picked up throughout the day off the truck and it's in the warehouse. And then I sticker the freight with the correct corresponding sticker. So, and then the guys on the forklift in the warehouse move it around and then Sometimes the next day I've actually delivered something I picked up before, but yeah. Anyways, this is one of the places where they load the truck for you. So we'll uh, go do this one. So funny story. Checking the back of the truck. Just picked up. So I don't know how long ago it was. It's probably two months ago or something. I went to a place where uh, this particular place, you're allowed um, in the, let me put my seatbelt on real quick. You're allowed in the building, but you're in a cage when you walk in the door and they won't let you, you're not allowed like in the warehouse part of loading. And, um, and, uh, this thing in gear here. So that place, they, they loaded me. <clears throat> And um, I think I was on the phone with Trey, too. And they're like, all right, you know, see you later. And I'm like, thanks. And I uh, got in the truck, took off. And I was going to get some fuel, but then all the fuel uh, the, at this UDF, but all the gas, all the pumps were taken. So I'm like, screw it. So I'm going to go to the, just get it later on. And um, I uh, took off. And I'm driving. And a car pulls up next to me. And he rolls his, he's got his window down. And he's motioned for me to roll my window down, and I did. And he's like, hey, you're uh, you're losing all kinds of stuff out of the back of your truck. I'm like, what? So um, I turned around and uh, found uh, uh, one package. It was like a four-pound box fell out of the back. The two-wheeler fell out of the back. And the brand-new, uh, it's like seven or $800 uh, crown pallet jack fell out of the back of this truck and hit the ground and um so i found the pallet jack at the gas station parking lot by the dumpster it's funny because i still haven't put them back in yet but here's the the center caps for the front wheel <laughs> they pop in they popped out or whatever so but 
it, 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 what's so aggravating about it is um, they won't let you in the warehouse because it's, you know, safety or whatever, all that bull crap. And then um, they're in charge of loading your truck, and then they don't close your back door. So I'm like, I'm like, golly, man. So um, now if I go to a place and they load the truck, I always check the back door and make sure it's closed before I leave. But anyways, it's a story. Now we're headed to a... Uh, uh, Ford dealership. So, for uh, another delivery, I'll be back. Got it. Alrighty, hopefully the sound's working in this. I got my headphones in so I can talk to people on the phone and drive at the same time and deliver. But, look at that, as Lake would say. I spy a, not a big fan of those stupid cutouts in the beds right there. I don't like that. And I don't like these wheels on this truck, but, and it's a gas, but. So that's an F-250 Lariat, and they want 78,000 for a gas, three quarter ton truck. So it's like, yeah, golly. The, the uh, Ram in 2021 was 64,000. So 10, I don't know, like twelve or thirteen thousand dollars more for that, and that's a gas motor. So it's crazy. But anyways, we are headed to the next one. We're going to uh, stop number eight. So be back in a minute. All right, I'm in the back of the truck. So this place, just like the last place we were at, I still haven't checked the sound on this. I hope it's working. Uh, doesn't have a dock. Well, an actual like dock height dock. Do you know what I mean, right there? But I'm in an alleyway behind this place, and um, like the last place, that Ford dealership, uh, their dock was blocked. They did have a dock, but he brought that little electric pallet jack out or forklift thing out. But uh, this place, uh, they're going to bring a forklift off or out, and then just take the stuff off the tail. Where's that? Right there. That. And I got three of those, so there's two more, two more right there. So as soon as he pulls the first one off. I'll take the pallet jack and move uh, move another one back. I'll pull that one off, then move another one back, and then we're done with this stop. Then we'll be on to the next one. But we're getting, uh, the truck's getting more empty. So after this one, we got one more delivery, and the rest will be hopefully pickups. But, um, yeah, because it's, it's already 11.55, so sometimes what they'll do is they'll, uh, they'll give me like three or four pickups and one of them will have like five or six kids on it and the truck will be full and uh, they'll have me come back to the station and unload that stuff and then sometimes they'll have me grab something like if a truck came in late that morning and go deliver something real quick and then pick more stuff up but uh, that normally only happens if like if I leave with like two or three in the morning then they'll do that but today with this I mean I still got like um, like five or six more stops so but I'm waiting on this forklift now and then uh, go on to the next one just like that he's going away right there last one right there and look at that on to the next one we're at the next stop you can kind of tell by the color of the building um, we're picking up pickles I guess but I pulled up here at like 12.06 or 12.07 and uh, the guy said that uh, we're on lunch. So sometimes you can get away with that through the day. Some different businesses have like multiple people to, you know, keep the shipping department going while, you know, people are eating or whatever. So, but this place doesn't. So he told me to hang out until 1230. So it's 1215 now and um, gonna hang out. And uh, I just did, uh, like I said, the, the app was glitching. So I got some uh, paperwork to do, and um, I'll probably eat. I got my lunch right down there, and um, uh, and watch YouTube for a little bit or TikTok or something. Hang out. I'll be back. Oh yeah, and before that last thing that was in the back of the truck, I got in the truck after I left that last delivery. And I thought, where in the world? I'm like, where's the next delivery at? I don't remember. And then I start looking through my paperwork, and I don't have a delivery. I'm like, holy crap. You know, because I'm filming this today, I thought 
I thought I accidentally delivered, I didn't deliver it or something or delivered the wrong thing. So I started looking through it. I'm like, what is going on? And it was from that, it was, it was a pickup where you, I wasn't allowed in the truck. That's what that was. That's why I didn't recognize it. So we're still doing good. We haven't screwed up too bad today. So we'll be back. All right, headphones are back out. They're dead. In two miles, That's take right. exit seven to merge onto State Route 562 East toward Norwood. I if you all could hear that. I got my GPS going on my phone and I'm recording at the same time and it just told me which way to go. But, uh, so that last stop was a mess. Um, they're, I guess they're extremely busy there all the time. I've never been there before, but got that on. That was two skids at, uh, uh, 3,600 pounds. So that was pretty heavy. So I got that. So I got three skids on the truck now and I'm going to, uh, pick up some more. Uh, but another thing I didn't know if you all knew, I know we always say Trey has his own business and all that kind of stuff and, um, which he does, but I was trying to explain that better. So this is Trey's company. So this truck I'm in and, um, his other three box trucks and then we run for another freight company that gives us all the work, if that makes sense. So, so uh, we're, what is that called? Subcontract, subcontracted, I guess. So, in the place that we run for, they, they have that, uh, what am I trying to say? I think they do that with all their guys. So, but it's, uh, it's been, I, I wish I knew how long it's been. I was looking back at the text messages from the girls from the station. You know, they send you stuff throughout the day or whatever. It went all the way back to uh, uh, April. March, April, May, June. I don't know, like four or five months. I don't know how long it's been. But it's uh, it's actually, it's a it's a big change, man, from, from working on... Take exit seven to merge onto State Route 562 East toward Norwood. We're in freight, that's for sure. Air conditioning, delivering air, you know, working on air conditioners is like, um, you know, it's not. What am I trying to say? My old gig was uh, was it wasn't as like fast and up pace. In about one mile, take exit two onto US 42. Exit two to US 42, it says, but um, but this one is is uh you're pretty much go from when you start to when you finish and then um continue straight then use the right lane to take exit two onto us 42 i gotta let me i guess let's get to this place first so i don't screw this up and then uh, i'll be back in a minute all right i can't remember the last time I can't now this thing's talking in my ear because i got the gps in my ear now but i can't remember the last time i checked in um done a few more pickups there was a couple deliveries um that i typed in the address from that last pickup and it was like 30 minutes away or whatever so um it was so I, I called trey and um they took those two stops off of me because it was pretty far out i mean it was like it was in ohio too to top it off but um pretty far out because my phone was glitching earlier today with you know the app and i thought i thought maybe they just got added on to me by accident or whatever and but anyways, they pulled those two off, so that's that puts me at 10 for the day instead of 12 so far. So I'm going to the 10th one now, and it's 138. So I'll be there at like 143. Um, so we'll go there and put that on the truck, and then see if there's uh, anything else coming up. But other other than this deliverance stuff. The weather right now is awesome. I know it's supposed to get hot again, but I can get used to this weather. In Kentucky, it's gonna probably be like negative 36 next week because we normally don't get a whole lot of good days. It's either, you know, last week it was 100 degrees, and this, like, past three days has been like a high of like 75. It's freaking awesome, but, but uh, I don't know. How's the weather where you guys are all at, and girls? But. Um, I can't show you. Well, well, it's on the other side. We're on. This is stupid GPS keeps talking in my ear. But, um, I got a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, I got like 10 trailer loads of fill dirt basically right here where we're at to uh, fill in the rest of that behind my house. I'm doing construction right here. 
But anyways, I'm pulling into this next, uh, or this last pickup now, so I'll be back. All right. That was uh, three skids, and uh, while I was in there, they put a, uh, they put one more on me, but Trey called me, and uh, they had it on him, and uh, he can't fit it in his truck, so they're going to um, send me out there. So, like I said, Trey can haul like seven standard size skids, so like a 40 by 48, and this truck can hold 12. I mean... It's 10, the box is 10 feet bigger than his, so, um, but he's full, he's got like eight skids on him now, and, you know, he can get more than seven sometimes, um, as long as the freight allows it, you know, to where he can maybe stack a light one on top of another one, you know, make some room, and, uh, then he just, this other one, I guess, the dimensions, it's pretty big, so, um, we're headed out there to get that, it's, we're actually... Uh, basically right next to the place this morning, but that's how it kind of happens You know the pickup uh, came in Freaking wreck here The uh, pickup came in like 30 minutes ago, so um, You know obviously I couldn't get it this morning because it wasn't ready this morning, but we're headed out there. It's 150 now, so I'll hopefully be back to the station by about I don't know, we're probably about 15 minutes away from this place. So hopefully be back to the station by 2.30, I'm hoping. But that'll put us at 11 for the day, which is um, not bad. I mean, like I said, somewhere between, I've been averaging, today kind of got jacked up, but an average in between 12 and all the way up to 22 stops a day. So we'll uh, head out there. All right, okay. Just got this last uh, pickup on. Uh, it's one of those places you're not allowed in there. You actually have to wait in the truck at this place and then they bring the paperwork to you and uh, while you're in the truck, so. Uh, so that put me, I think at 11. I don't know if I said it before or not. I, I think I did, but um, they had that one on tray and it wouldn't fit on. He didn't have room, so. That's why I came here and I just sent uh, the dispatcher a uh, uh, text. Another thing, man, at this place, this stupid fence, they don't have a sensor in the ground to to uh, what to open. Like, look, I'm much closer I need to get here for that thing to open. There, there it is. Somebody in the office over there that watches and I think they fall asleep half the time and don't watch, but. Uh, Trey's back at the station now unloading and um, so he beat me today. It's 2.20. So I should be back to the station by hopefully 2.40. Um, I'm pretty far out in Florence and there's normally traffic out this way heading because I got to head back uh, technically towards our house and then hit 2.75 the opposite way to get back to the station. So, so now the plan is as long as she, I texted her and said hey I just finished up here she should send me a text back and say we're all good come back um, and then I uh, and then I come then I go back to the station of course but the one thing I've noticed about this job that's hard is that you know when I did uh, heating and air heating and air conditioning there's a ditch there I thought I was gonna hit it um, it was uh, you know and you, you get paid hourly you know and um, so it was kind of like you know, I don't know how to explain it. You know, you, you have busy days, with, you know, heating and air, but I, I had, I guess, been doing it so long that my accounts and stuff that I that I had, I knew exactly what to do and exactly how long it was gonna take. And so, you, so it, it just was uh, just a lot different. Here, it's the harder you go and the faster you go, the more money you make. So it's like, it's like an incentive you know when i first started i'm like they're sending me stuff i'm like this is freaking awesome and uh and then trey would kind of get aggravated because trey's got it figured out obviously he's been doing it for 30 years um that uh you know you can't chase every dollar but i'm just it's hard for me to adjust to that because i'm used to you know that guy's riding around on a flat tire if you can, i can't see it that place just opened up right there whatever that place right there 
it's like a what do they call that spear ridge the uh cafe i call trey about that about that place i'm like hey they got this fancy new building out here in the corner of 25 and industrial in florence he's like yeah man i said they i said it looks like they just opened up look it looks like today because the parking lot was full this morning it says now open you know there's the flag going and uh turns out yeah me and melissa went there last night i'm like you guys are on top of everything it's like twisters when twisters came out in theaters i'm like man i want to go see that movie trey's like we already saw it i'm like when did you guys see it and then you know like the new deadpool i'm not really a huge into the deadpool stuff i for some reason i couldn't get i just like i like marvel stuff you know iron man and captain america and the hulk and all that stuff i can never get into deadpool but Trey's like, yeah, we heard me and uh, uh, Brantley, his son, went and saw Deadpool. I'm like, maybe me and Amy are just uh, being too old too fast. Because uh, when we get home from the gym at night, we eat about 6.30 and uh, um, relax and watch TV. Before you know it, it's 8.30, 9 o'clock. you got to start winding down and go to bed and do it again. But Trey's just, he's out and about just getting stuff done. I don't know. I'm 35, Trey's. Is he 51? I think he's 51. I'm 35 and he's 50 running. And he, he runs around like he's 20. But anyways, so heading back to the station now and uh, we'll go from there. All right, made it back to the station. Uh, now, um, all the stuff that I picked up that I didn't leave with this morning with the paperwork, um, just had to hear this thing. This is the coolest part of this truck. Look, the brakes. You gotta listen to it. Sound like a school bus driver. But uh, uh, I gotta go in and all my paperwork from each one of those stops that I didn't leave with this morning on a pickup, I have pro labels on it and the pro labels is also on the freight. So I give my paperwork to the girls in the office and they print off the stickers with the corresponding numbers that match the numbers that's on the freight and then after i pull it off in the truck i set it in the warehouse i get the stickers made then come back and sticker the freight and then um uh, she prints off a new manifest for the day because my manifest that right here that i left with this morning uh it's now different because i had more pickups and stuff so that's why and then i keep the manifest up here for the whole week and uh trey's in the back now he's gonna help me unload the truck i guess but um, that's what Trey uses to make sure they um, pay him correctly. So, anyways, I head in and help Trey. Alrighty, 2.52. So, leaving now. Um, I would, uh, I still have to transfer. I got my new manifest, you know, for the day. So, when I left, my original manifest said 8, right? And um, my new one's 11, of course, because uh, I had those pickups while I was out. So, I just got to transfer some of the stuff over to the new manifest like the I had wait time at two stops today and um, I like to write down the the time that I got there and the time that I left you know even though the phone does keep track of that stuff just to make sure I dot all my I's and cross all my T's if that makes sense but I'm gonna do that when I get to the gym parking lot headed to the gym now um, and uh, I gotta go to the bathroom so I didn't have, like I said, the route was a lot, a little different today. Um, so I didn't go to some of the places that I've been going to. So um, that means that uh, I didn't have uh, bathrooms lined up. Normally at these places, I got memorized which ones got good crappers and which ones don't got good crappers. And today I didn't get to do anything. So another side note that sounds really weird is you get really dirty doing this stuff too. Like literally, I don't, I don't even like hardly even touch the freight. I'm just touching a pallet jack all day and my hands still get dirty. I don't I don't get it. Get black stuff all over my hands. So I try to wipe my hands off with baby wipes to keep from getting the crap all over the steering wheel. I keep it inside of the truck halfway nice. But, uh, but anyways, I head to the gym and then uh, we got Thursday's workout. So today's workout sucks. So, 14 sets for shoulders and uh, 14 sets for triceps, but 28 sets total. And then uh, a half an hour on the treadmill. So 
today's the long day in the workout, but Friday's the easy day. Friday's 14 sets for buys and then a half an hour on the treadmill. So Friday goes pretty quick normally, but about 10 minutes from the gym, not far. So headed that way. All right, so I'm in this stop and go traffic off the exit here for the gym and I was just double checking these manifests or whatever. So Monday I had uh, Monday of this week, I had uh, 17 stops, and then Tuesday I had. Come on, don't come. Tuesday I had uh, 14 stops. Wednesday I had yesterday 15 stops, and then Thursday today I had uh, double check 11 stops. So I would have had 13 today, but those one two were way too far out to go to but you know another thing that plays a factor in this stuff too is just how long i've been well trey obviously knows but um for how long i've been doing it is they're called acetorials so like i said it before you know like a residential pays more um a lift gate if you got to use the lift gate pays more if you got to use if you got to use uh, or go inside the place that you know, it's called an inside that's more you know wait time that's more um schools that's more motels that's more so you know you could have like I'm gonna try, you could have like eight or nine stops in a day but if you got a bunch of good acetorials like lift gates and insides and all of that stuff it actually uh actually kind of works out as if you had like 20 stops in a day with no estatorials you know what i mean but so pulling up to the old uh, gym now i'm confused oh that was all the manifest falling i'm confused i don't know if it's called a sporta or la fitness anymore you all tell me there it is it's a sporta and it's la fitness it used to be la fitness and then a sporta bought them and they called it a sporta and now they put uh <clears throat> Um, LA Fitness back up on the building. So, what is that thing? Is that a Porsche? Wow, that thing looks freaking fancy. But, um, go ahead and do the coolest part of the truck here. Let you all listen to it. I'll put the phone out so you can hear it. Put her in neutral and. That's the cool spot. School bus is here. So I'm gonna go inside and poop because I have to poop. And uh, Trey is should be behind me, he's on his way. So we'll see here in a minute. I didn't get to use it today, but that's the lift gate under there. So Folk let it down right there, you can hear it. It goes up and down, goes down, flips out, and then you can get a skid off the back of the truck, so. Old truck's still holding up good. Rocking in now. I'm on a treadmill. Trey's over there on the bike. Just started. All right, just finished the workout. We're headed back home now. How was your day? What's up? <laughs> it is, uh, what time is it? It's 523 so like i said the uh the old uh vlog might go up a little bit sorry letting the blood plugs warm up a little bit fired up i got to uh use the bathroom real quick and then uh we're headed home straight just started his up but overall not too bad i think i looked at trey's uh I think Trey had 11 today too. So, we had exactly the same uh, stop, stop count. That bottle does that every time I, in this truck at night. It pops every time I put it in here. It scares the crap out of me normally. Forgot my headphones in the truck on charge today, so that's nice. Um, didn't get to listen to my, I like having my headphones in there. Uh, not while we're working out, because I normally talk uh, with Trey and stuff as we're working out, but. For the uh, for the treadmill, so. But anyways, 
5.30, so now we get to go uh, normally sit in traffic. Normally home about 6. So that's where we're headed. We'll be back. And we're home. It's 5.51, so 6. Is that seven? I don't know. Gone about 11 hours. So 11, I don't know. We left at 7.45 this morning, so. Um, and it is 6, so where is that? An hour and 45 minutes, that's almost two hours. Like, I don't know, a little over 10 hours, 11 hours, something like that, but that's, uh, Trey's pulling in now. So, but he's in the new box truck today. Y'all saw that video. But there's the other two box trucks right there. And then he'll put that third one right there, and he rotates the box truck, so, like, he'll whatever, drive that first one Monday, and then drive the second one Tuesday, and then drive the third one Wednesday, and then just kind of repeat to keep them all uh, running, you know, because every one of them got, I think the the one he's in now has got the lowest mileage because the straight truck's got 180,000 on it now. But anyways, he's gonna park that one and we are, uh, that's basically it for the day, six o'clock. So I'm gonna go over there and unpack all this crap. Uh, and then airdrop these videos for Amy so she can edit this video and uh, and then sh basically, I mean, it's pretty nice out tonight, but pretty much shower and get the clothes laid out for tomorrow morning and, and uh, pretty much hang out tonight and so shower and then we go upstairs and um, Amy makes uh, dinner and we hang out and watch TV and try to find, we try to find a movie to watch each night and then we go to bed about 9, 30, 10 o'clock and blow on our phones and then uh, go to sleep and wake up and do it all over again like everybody else, right? But anyways, I wanted to do this because uh, I could never really do my day in the life before because uh, cause, um, the uh, company, you know, that I worked for, so doing heating and air but thought it might be a little bit different so this was day in the life in my new life i think that's what trey said at the gym which is kind of kind of not a um not a bad deal but so far so good this allows us to um obviously keep food on the table and the electric on while we can still do or while we're able to do social media like i said before you know it's a lot it's a lot different these days doing social media than it was back in 2016 when we started in 2016 everybody's you know at uh at work uh oh look police in there come out and say hi the dogs uh oh there's a new dog uh oh new dog I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to a there's a new dog right there let's finish in the video oh what's up no How's the new dog going? We still don't have a name for the new dog either. Tank. Tank? Maybe, I don't know. We all think about Tank. There's Tank, there's Bully, there's Tiny, there's that's where there's water. That's where they keep their water at. He ain't got a collar on now, but awesome. What's up, dog? Look at him. Look how tiny your head is, dog. But Anyways, you know, like like I said, now it's a little different with companies with social media because uh, um, companies, I think, just kind of realize how powerful social media is. And but um, but luckily, you know, Trey has his own company, and we can uh, continue to do social media. So it's freaking awesome. It works out. But like I said, the company that I used to work for didn't have a problem with it at all in 2016 all the way up to 2021 and then 2021 uh i quit and then um uh that's when they came to garen with the ultimatum so and i was waiting for that day because uh as soon as they came to me with that ultimatum i was just gonna hand them the keys of the van and quit but anyways thank you all a ton uh leave a comment down below if you liked it or not subscribe here subscribe to the bell life bangs and um, check us out on thebelllife.com if you want to see our original content. We still upload three days a week on there, and 
We also got merch for the, uh, the gun channel on thebelllife.com too. Appreciate you all and see you on the next one.